Hi friends, <coughs> WH questions. So, once again, I would like to remind you of the steps that you have to take before you frame or before you make an yes or no question. Step one, the sentence we have already done yesterday. I learned film technology from Hollywood. Step one is, learn is a main verb. It is past tense. It's a single word verb. So what have you to do? You have to insert do. Since this is past tense, when you insert do, do will become did. And so it will be I did learn, not learn. Because the past tense has been taken and added to do. That is how do becomes did. So I did learn film technology from Hyderabad. Step two is you make that or you make a or frame an yes or no question. So that is did I will become did you? Did you learn Eliaran? Eliaran, sorry. Learn film technology from Hyderabad. Now when you have the third step, did you learn film technology from instead of Hyderabad, you write here the, the suitable or the appropriate question mark. Understand that? Appropriate question mark. And here it is a place. So you have to use where. Now the fourth and the last step is a question word question has to begin with a question word. And therefore, what will you do? You have to take the where at the end of the sentence to the front or the beginning of the sentence. And then it will become where did you learn film technology? And that will be your answer. Now, when you are sure about these things, there's no need for you to go through all the, these steps. These steps are meant for your understanding. I hope that it is very clear. Right? Yes. Now let's do the remaining three sentences. My friend Alfred Hitchcock helped me here. So here again you have got the main verb, past tense, that will become did help. Did help. So my friend Alfred Hitchcock did help me here. So what is the answer? What is answer you would like to get is my friend. So for the person, what is the question word who? So my friend will become who. Instead of my friend, you will like who. My friend Alfred Hitchcock. Then the next uh, will be did help me there who? I am putting it in the beginning, that will be who did help me will become you there. Who did help you there? Who did help you there? Then answer is my friend helped me there. And the next one, my wish was to make a film that beat Hollywood. Now here the verb is an auxiliary. So there is no need of inserting do. All you have to do is invert it. And the, and the right question word. What is the question word? My wish was, so my something. For something what is the question word? For something the question word is what? So what was your wish? What was your wish? My wish was to accept. Next, Norton Gram was 20 kilometers away from here. Then again, you have got only, you have got an auxiliary here. No need of inserting do there. So just inversions will do. And that will be, what is the question word that you have, you have to use? Uh, distance. It was 20 kilometers. 
So what is the question number for uh, distance? The question number for distance is how far? Answer: so How far was uh, not to gram from here? How far was not to gram from here? How far? Twenty-two kilometers. Thus, we have answered all the. All the uh, we have framed questions for all the statements given in the text. The, the process is this one for everyone, and also it's up to you, not up to you, depending on the meaning. You have to choose the right question for for the right question. All right. So once again, these are the main question words used in English. Fourteen of them. First one is for something, as we can see here. My wish was, what was your wish? You don't say, who was your wish? <laughs> no. You cannot say like that. Where was your wish? You cannot say. When was your wish? You cannot say. So there will be, what was your wish? Like that, you have to find out the suitable question word, and then frame sentences in this. Basically, as I told you, basically, inversion is one, insertion of do, in case if it is a main verb or single word verb, a single word main verb, do, and do changes as I told you, third person singular present tense it will be does, uh, if not present tense it will be do, if it is past tense did. In all these you, what you have to remember is, once you use do, does, did, the tense will not be found in the verb. Verb becomes simply a tenseless word. Tenseless, not senseless. Becomes a tenseless word. And that tenseless tense will be then attached to the auxiliary that is do, does, did. Therefore, you cannot say does talks. You cannot say. You have to say does talk. Does talk. Don't say does eats. You should say does eat. Don't say did ate. But did eat. Don't say did looked. But did look. I think now that is very clear to you. This is one of the, when one, we can say one, a, a very key point as well as English grammar is concerned. Because you have to go on asking questions. You have to ask yes or no questions. You have to ask WH questions. You have to ask question uh, type questions. You have to uh, ask optional questions. This or that. So, two, ma two major types of questions. One is yes or no, and the other is WH question. I think now that is very clear. You are happy. You are satisfied with my explanations. Then you should like, share, and subscribe. Bye.